And I'm going to follow this uh, procedure to the letter. So they were a nice easy fit in the uh, piston groove. The article gives uh, information about uh, what you need to do to make a fixture. So I've gone ahead and made the fixture. There's some uh, relief machined in for the cutter. Um, I did initially machine it on the wrong side. So, but it makes no difference. And there's a slot in for this setting bar. So how that's used will become apparent once you start machining. So the general procedure is to machine a slot on one side of the uh, piston ring, flip it around on the other side and machine a slot on the other side to get a stepped shape like this. So to machine a slot you initially set it up like this uh, in the fixture in the milling machine. So you offset your milling cutter to the right hand side of the centre line. In this case, two millimeters, which is half the diameter of the cutter. Take your first cut. And then to set it up for your second cut, you rotate it through 35 degrees for this particular um, piston ring. And then you move your cutter to the left hand side of the center line and take your final cut. We'll probably have to take an intermediate cut between the two to clear all the material. So let's get to the milling machine and uh, have a go. So this is the setup on the milling machine. Using the rotary table. So you can set it to the zero position for the first cut. And then rotate it through 35 degrees for the final cut. And probably have an intermediate cut somewhere. Stick a ring on. So I'll just line this edge up with the edge of the uh, slot. So at the moment the centre line of the cutter is on the centre line of this uh, fixture. So we need to move it to position here. So that's uh, half the cutter diameter which is 2mm. So we'll move it 2mm. There we go, knock it off. So it should be good to go. Put on half a millimetre cut. Ok, we'll rotate it uh, 25 degrees, so there, and now we need to move the cutter to position uh, B, so that's 2 millimetres the other way. Seems to be ok. So now go to 35 degrees.
<coughs> okay reset back to zero move the color back to position here Now we put our square bar in and put the piston ring on. So now we've got to rotate it so that this edge of the slot hits the bar. Put the clamp on. And then just snip it up there and as I turn it the friction will just make sure that piston ring goes up against the bar snip it down it's looking good okay we'll do half one of nice cuts to start off again just to be on the safe side Five degrees. Now we forgot. Move the cutter to position B. Thirty five degrees. Now we have it. Looks pretty good. I'll just take some of those rags off. Okay, so that's all those done now. So I'll just see if I can break that joint. Maybe get a knife. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put them in the rest to finish off now. So I've made a collar. So the diameter of this collar is the finished diameter of the uh, piston rings. Plus the machining allowance that was put on there. So they should compress into there quite nicely. Okay, so I've turned up a mandrel to do this job. So this diameter is a nice fit on the collar. The next diameter down is the finished diameter of the uh, piston rings, which I've just turned. So my tool is at that position, so I'm not going to move it. So I've just put uh, the ring inside the collar. Got it the right way around, that's it. Push it on. Fit the clamp. Just 
Just nip that up. Take off the colour. Not too tight or we'll just squash it. Okay. Job done, ready for the next one. Okay, we'll try them on the pistons. Looks nice. So I'll give it a try in the cylinder. Put a bit of oil in. This will be the tricky bit. There we go, so one in. There we go. Oh, yep, I like it. <laughs> 